background class and will add its drawing to the game panel. Let's open the game panel and create a background variable. We create the background class and describe its constructor. In the constructor, we pass to the parameters our bitmap and the width of our screen. Also, we add the variables that will keep the class. They are bitmap, X and Y positions, the width of the game screen, and the value of how many backgrounds can be placed on the screen. Now our constructor is filled. When we create the background, the starting positions of X and Y are equal to zero. Also, we set the width of the screen and calculate the number of screen images that can be placed on our background. To get this number, we divide the width of the screen by the width of the bitmap. We add 1 to this value as well. Then we create another parameter in the constructor that will be passed. We will then pass our game panel in order that our class could always refer to it.
Next, we set the variable. Our constructor is ready, and now we create draw and update methods. In the draw method, we indicate the canvas, as here the drawing will be done, and in the update method will be calculated the changes to the object. As a parameter, we pass delta t. Now we'll describe our draw method of the background class. To do this, we create a counter that runs from zero to the number of background images which are placed on the screen. In this counter will be done the drawing. Besides that, we add conditions if the canvas is not equal to null. Then we start drawing. Next, we indicate bitmap and left point according to x. And then we take the width of the bitmap and multiply by counter value i and add x's value. The third parameter is equal to y, and the fourth is equal to zero. Then, after the counter, we check if the absolute value of our x is greater than the width of our image, our bitmap. Then we assign to x value x plus the width of our bitmap. In this way, we create the illusion that the background is endless. Next, we describe the update method. Here, the value according to x will be changed, and it will be the x value that is equal to x value minus the speed value of the ship and is multiplied by dt. What is the speed of the ship? This is the value that will be kept in the game panel, and we'll take it from there. Now, let us open the game panel and create a variable. We add and we set our variable in the constructor game panel. It will be equal to the screen width and is divided by two. We will take a width of the screen from the game activity and pass as additional parameter to the constructor game panel.
Now we go to Game Activity where the game panel is created, and now we write in there the parameter of screen width. We are done with that, and we have the background class. Now we add everything to the game panel and see how it works. To do this, in the constructor game panel, we initialize our background variable, and it is equal to new background. Then we choose our constructor and bitmap we get from the bitmap factory and decode the resource. From the first parameter, we get the resource, and the second one is our ID, drawable, and game background. We set the width of the screen and pass the game panel, which is this. We just created the background instance and initialized it. And now we add background draw to the methods of draw and update. Then we pass to the parameters canvas. Also, we create background update in the update method and pass to the parameters out delta t. In addition, in the drawing we add that if the game is not paused and our canvas is not equal to null, then in this case we will be drawing our game. Next, in surface created method, we pass to our thread value set running, true, and we start our thread. When the surface is deleted, we have to stop our thread. For this, we create a boolean variable retry, assign a true value, and create the infinite loop. We try to stop our threat. If we stopped it, we assign to retry false value.
Then we'll catch interruption errors if we still encounter them when we try to stop the thread. Now everything is ready to run the application on the device and see how the background class works. Let's start the application. We click on Start Game, and here is the background motion. Then we click on Pause and see that the background is not stopping. Now when we click on the Pause button, we will add the status to the game that it is on pause. To do this, we go to the game activity, on click listener, pause click. And here is our comment that we left. It says that our game should be paused, and in order to do that in our game panel, we put pause menu, and then pause game, and we assign a true value. Now when we click on the continue button, we put up the game panel, and the pause game variable is equal to false. Now we again start the application, and next we click on Start Game, and click on Menu, and we see the background stopped. So, we are done with the creation of the background class of the game. Next, we move on to the spaceship. I can't wait to show you what's ahead.